Hi, I'm Simon Fitzner from Fitzner Performance Gearboxes. Uh, today we're going to drive three vehicles, all fitted with PPG gearboxes. Uh, today's exercise is to dispute the myth that a lot of people believe you can't drive a dog box in a street car. Um, <clears throat> our own company vehicle has had a, uh, a dog box in it for probably the best part of four years now. We've done 20,000 k's with it, the car's fine, and most of its application is used for street use. Let's jump in the vehicles and uh, show you how it goes. Um, my recommendation to most people is uh, at your traffic lights, you're ready to get go, put your foot on the clutch, count one, two, three, in the gear, nine times out of ten, you won't even hear it go in. So, fingers crossed, try that. One, two, three, small clunk, and we're off. I've normally found that by the slower you drive, the slower you change gears. As you can see, you'll hear a little bit of a clunk, a uh, clunk or a bang. That's nothing to be concerned about. Um, when you start hearing uh, like a lot of clunks in a row, like a machine gun going off or something like that, that's the dogs bouncing over the top of each other and that's when you'll um, incur the most potential damage. The slower you drive, you know, you can change gears in a slow fashion. My recommendation to anyone who has a new gearbox or a new dog box, never driven one before, as you can see, just drive it like a normal car. You know, when you get it right, it's effortless, you know. I, we have many customers whose girlfriends and mothers drive them around and once they become accustomed to it and you know, it really doesn't take long. <clears throat> First gear, second gear, there was a little bit of a clunk, but well, that was just me. Third, fourth, there you go. 50 k's, cruising down the road, legal speed limit. No, no one's the wiser. So a lot of misconception, people, people believe, oh, you know, you've got to get in it and you've got to drive it like you hate it. Okay, look, maybe when you're, when you're having a big go and you're racing or you're doing some club sprints or something like that, yes. Uh, driving around the street, you don't. As you can see, you'll see today, driving uh, these three vehicles, um, they're very simple to drive, very easy. Um, we put a lot of effort, a lot of design time into making them easy to drive because we're aware of a lot of our customers use them in a street application. As uh, everyone's aware, you can flat shift a gearbox. Um, and as mentioned, the faster you drive, the faster you should change. You know, now we're sort of up in the RPM a little bit. And the clutchless change. Very simple, very easy. All you need to do when you're changing without the clutch, just you're in third gear, for example, you're on the accelerator. Just a quick lift off the accelerator, pull on the stick at the same time. Slick as. I'll go back to third. You know, we're doing not a lot, 4,000 RPM, just for example. And as you can see, that's really quite simple. Um, I'll do it again, actually, with one finger. There's not a lot of load. You don't need two hands on the gear stick. You don't need to break the gear stick off. Put a lot of time and a lot of effort into making the thing usable for your everyday driver. Um, you can drive to the track, you can do your club days, you can do your club sprints, you can impress all your mates with your dog boxes, and then you drive to work on Monday. So slowing down, just heel and toe a bit. As you can see, no clunks, no bangs. Yeah, not doing big revs because we're trying to do the right thing, but it indicates you can flat shift them. Well, not a flat shift them as such, you do need to take the load off the gearbox. And um, we will. As soon as the load's off, it'll go into gear as quick as you can get it into gear. Uh, so yes, you can get on the website, uh, ppgearbox.com.au, and uh, you'll be able to um, look at all the products, um, all the feedback from people who have used the product, and plenty of information. If, if there's not enough information there, or you've got a question or something you want to ask, just go straight to um, go to the contacts page and contact sales at ppgearbox.com.au and uh, someone is there every day waiting for your email to answer all the questions uh, you could possibly come up with. Hope you enjoy the ride.